Hey my pretties, welcome back. So I have my very first, as you can see from behind me, my very first Christmas haul for you guys. I know we have not even made it past the other holidays, but I have to share this stuff with you guys because I've been picking it up in the stores and it's time for me to share it with you guys so I can put it away <laughs> until it's time to pull it back out and decorate. So I'm going to start with the stuff. I, I tried to line everything up on this counter and I'm going to share that with you guys. And then at the end, I will um, show you the pillows that I picked up because uh, between pillows and throw blankets, it's been hard. It's been hard, but I've, I've I think I've been I've been good. I've been good. I stopped picking up throw blankets even though a lot of them caught my attention. I do have like two or three right here. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that. So let me show you guys what I picked up. So let's start with this stuff that's hanging right here. Um, I did talk about this in um, a different video when I found it in the store. I have ordered this way before it hit the stores. When I seen it, I was like, oh my goodness, I need it. So it's just the big blanket with the tassels on the end from TJ Maxx. These are also in uh, Home Goods as well. So, so I did get this. It is um, Rachel Zoe. And of course, these blankets are always $25. So I got that. So then I got the Cupcakes and Cashmere tree skirt with the Gingerbread Boys and the houses and the little candies on there. I thought this was so pretty when I seen it. So this was 25 at Home Goods. So I picked the, the Betsy Johnson throw blanket for $11 at, where did I get this, Burlington? At Burlington with the little dog and the bone. And I got this in memory of my baby because when I get to the pillows, I think I already showed you guys, well, I told you guys I was gonna get the dog pillow. Um, the gingerbread pillow from Kohl's. Uh, yeah, so I did get the pillow and I just figured, you know, in memory of my baby, I got that blanket. And then I did get this one, the gingerbread with the pink hearts. I think that is so pretty. And I just like the hearts because, you know, um, I love gingerbread. <laughs> so this was $20. I can't remember where I got this. If this, I think that's home goods. Yeah, that's home goods. So those are the three blankets, those two plus the other one and in a tree skirt. Okay, so moving up here, I had to order the Myers because I love the Myers Christmas collection. I usually always get the peppermint but um they had the gingerbread scent so i did get the dish soap the multi-surface cleaner and i did get a hand soap now i had to order these from the myers website they are not in the store yet then i got some philosophy mixed berry tart i always love the philosophy body wash their stuff just smells so good it's a bit pricey but the stuff is really really nice so then I chose the pink frosted animal cracker. This is my first time having this one. It smells so good. Both of those were $11 at TJ Maxx. Okay, now moving into some of the decor. I did get this one. Uh, cupcakes and cashmere, 20. I'm trying to avoid the stars of the show, <laughs> which are them, but we'll get to them. Uh, this cup came from Target. I did get him right there and he comes in different shades so i thought that was really cool of them to you know incorporate different shades um this one 10 with the gingerbread star that was from home goods this one i recently showed you a really big one i think the big one was 60 dollars. this smaller one is 15 i know he was pretty popular this one right here 13 dollars. cupcakes and cashmere uh, cupcakes and cashmere as well. This one looks like, to me, it looks like frosting with the star on the top. 17. This, I think this one was kind of popular last year and I had never really seen it. $20. I started trying to incorporate more stuff that looks like, you know, like, um, not frosting. What did I say? Frosting? I meant whipped cream. Um, trying to incorporate things that look like whipped cream and the cookies and stuff like that with the gingerbread stuff because I couldn't just see myself, you know, continuing to purchase more gingerbread houses. Like how many houses can a girl have? 
Well, that's a trick question, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I needed some other items. And so that one, these I showed you, there's also a light pink one, $20 at Marshall's. The light pink one was really, really pretty, but I just got the two red ones. This little house right here with the whipped cream topping on the top for the roofs. $13 Peppermint Square. Got that at, I believe that wasn't that Marshall's. Yeah, Marshall's. The Gingerbread Street came from, where was I at? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And that one came from Hobby Lobby as well. The Gingerbread Bakery made with love and i know that i have a sign something like this but when i'm in the stores i'm like do i have something i know i do and now watch when i pull out um my my bins and stuff i probably got probably got that same one um this house right here came from marshall's i like the little star on the side and it says joy and i love that it looks like waffle like you know like a waffle cone so see how that looks i love all the detail on this one and it was 25 right there these bowls that say ice cream on the inside came from at home store for six dollars each so i got two pink ones and two purple ones and i just like those i think those are so pretty they'll be perfect to use even after christmas i mean you know because they're just pink and purple this one did i get this from burlington i think i picked this up at burlington yep for twenty dollars if i could find one more of those i'll pick it up and then this year i did pick up another cookie this is twenty dollars and like i said i've been trying to pick up more things that just look like cookies and with the frosting and all that stuff on it so this one they do have different colors so they see how this one is green you can get the different colors now this i haven't opened yet but it's a pretty bracelet that i got from macy's let me open it look at that how pretty it kind of reminded me of betsy johnson is not betsy but it's just a stretchy gold gingerbread bracelet cannot remember i know it was on sale but i ordered it from macy's um i cannot remember how much this was it says 29.50 but i think i got it for like 19.99 or something like that i had some little sale they had some little sale going on and this is holiday lane so my little gingerbread bracelet that i'll start wearing at some point now the stars of the show the cowboy or as I call them, Indiana Jones, my little Indiana Jones gingerbread boy. Um, you got this one right here, and then her right here with the pink, and she has bows on, she has a bow on her head. She has some towels up there. Those are those gingerbread towels. I picked up two of those, and I believe they were $7.99 or $8.99 for those. Um, you guys already know the gingerbread people were $60 each. There is a gingerbread house that I cannot find yet. If I ever find it, I will pick it up and bring it home. And it kind of matches them. It's big like them. I'm looking for that. Okay, so then I got these little reindeer. I feel like they look like gingerbread. Like, you know, that's what I saw when I picked them up. So I picked up two of them with their little bows. And they are $8. This came from Hobby Lobby. And of course, you know, most of their stuff is usually on sale. So it was 16, so I got it for eight. And then I picked up this one and these are like styrofoam. Uh, so the little tree and the cookie. Now I'm thinking about putting this guy in Pooh Bear's room and decorating his room. Cause usually we all, we do all the rooms. So I think this year he's gonna be this guy. So I did pick up these sheets for my baby. And so, yeah, I'm going to try to do his room, the gingerbread cowboy theme. Yeah, so this came from TJ Maxx, and I believe it was 20 There's another cookie right here with the frosting at the bottom. Uh, $20. I like that one. I like that it's more white with a little bit of the peppermints on there. And then this house up here, little arrangement with the pearls sticking out the top and all of that. This is Martha Stewart and it was 15. Peppermint Wishes, Ray Dunn, 
seven dollars i like the peppermints on that this one when i seen it it just jumped out at me i'm like oh my goodness that is so pretty i love the colors on that seventeen dollars okay so the hot cocoa cup i actually have this one from previous years um in red is six dollars and I don't know I just saw the pink I said it before the past two years the pink the pink is catching on it's everywhere so I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying not to pick up pink stuff but it had the gingerbread on it so I had to get that these cups right here came from Marshall's they've incorporated the ghost with the gingerbread so I had to pick it up because it's just so different five dollars they also have one with the peppermint so ghost and christmas i guess i guess these cups right here marshall's five dollars i love the fill of these they have that like soft kind of texture with the gum drops this one right here with the boy and the girl and they're on both sides with the bows too so five dollars the gingerbread boy and the gingerbread girl right here those came from dollar tree they were five dollars um but i think they are super cute i like how they did the little icing on her feet it looked like she got on flip-flops i'm like okay girl <laughs> so i got both of those from there really really nice and this one right here I was in the store and I talked to you guys about when I went in the door, the two ladies seen these and they made a beeline for them. And before I could even get there, they had already had these in their cart, right? And so one of the ladies, you know, they were all walking around. It was a few ladies. They were walking around talking. And so, you know, I had to shoot my shot. So they were talking and I just walked past them and I said, if one of you guys don't want this house because there was two i was like let me know because i will gladly take it off your hands and one of the ladies was like you know what i'm having second thoughts you can take it if you want it and that's how i ended up with the ice cream gingerbread house this is just super cute i think it's really nice you got the girl hanging out the window you got the baby and then you got the dad down there and this was a whopping seventy dollars but like I said, I've this year, I really only tried to pick up pieces that were, you know, that stood out to me were really different. And so that's one of the ones I don't have anything like that in my collection with the ice cream on top. So I had to get that. And then in here, Bath and Body Works, I stopped in there and only thing I picked up was the cute little gingerbread bag. I say this every year when they bring these little bags out um, from the previous years. I wish they would make it to where you can take the straps off if you wanted to because it's like a little backpack but I would love for the straps to be off so I can just use this as like a makeup bag or whatever little bag and I can just drop it in my purse I know it's kind of big but you know what I'm saying <laughs> really cute Bath and Body Works 19.95. and before I jump into the pillows look what else I picked up the gingerbread tree did you guys know I was going to buy this tree? I think you guys knew I was going to buy this tree. <laughs> it was $100. I think it's going to be really cute wherever I put it with the gingerbread boy and girl, maybe kind of close to it or something like that. They did have that big house for $200, but I, I couldn't. I didn't want to do that. Um, but I do absolutely love this tree. So it came home with me. Okay, so now let me show you guys some of the pillows that I purchased. Okay, so here's the pillows. I have them sitting on this front table just so you guys can see them i did get the dog this came from um Kohl's. this one i had to get because i do not have any leather <laughs> gingerbread pillows and he came from tj maxx yes he is like faux leather i was like that is really cool it says 50 percent recycled polyester I thought he was cool. I just like him because he's different. Then this one right here, the little girl with the bow, she came from Kirkland's. I think that is so cute. Um, then I did get the boy. So both of those were from Kirkland's. This one right here, also from Kirkland's. Uh, I just had to. I love his little um, gold buttons on his hat. So the little nutcracker guy. 
this set right here 30 i showed you guys this the cupcakes and cashmere comes with the house there's a tree and the star or the snowflake i said a star the snowflake and 30 dollars marshall's um cupcakes and cashmere this is the one that i'll keep talking about i said that it's 35 dollars. there's a set a family like with the baby and everything even though the baby one at um pottery barn is super duper cute i love the way the baby pillow looks with them but i can't i cannot spend that kind of money on a baby pillow <laughs> a baby gingerbread pillow so this is 35 for the baby the mom and the dad back there with his pink bow tie so I got that set. Um, this bow came from Burlington, the big puffy bow. It's crazy because they sold out immediately. None of the stores have the big bows again. Um, I'm still looking. I would like to get one more of these or one more of the red ones. And I'll get to the story about those red ones because I have the big metallic red one and then I have that one back there. And I took you guys to the store with me when I was picking up that one and I'll tell you what happened. But this one back here, the cupcakes and cashmere, he is $30, just a big gingerbread boy pillow with his scarf. There is a girl and she has on like a tutu skirt, but I have not seen that one yet. So these are all of the pillows that I picked up recently. And in case anybody wants to know, some of these go on my couch, depending on um, what which ones I have in my storage bin when I pull those out. I put pillows all around the house. They'll go on the couch. They'll go in the office area. Some will go on my bed. Some will go on the seating chair in my room where I sit and read. Some of these are going to kids' room. So the pillows go all over the place. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, this one came from Burlington, the house pillow. Okay, so in another video at Burlington, I was like, you guys, I came here and look, you know, I showed you the box behind the counter. I said they were holding a bow. So when I called, I had purchased this already. So when I called Burlington, I was looking for another one of these, the metallic red one. So they were like, oh yeah, we have it. We have one. You know, I said, okay, well, can you put it on hold for me? And so they said, yeah. So when I get to the store, even though I had that one already, this is the one that they had behind the counter. And although I was a little sad because I was hoping it was this one right here, they had this one. At least I have two of something. <laughs> Because when I picked up these two right here, the pink one and this metallic red, I don't know why I got Mitch Mac, but I did. And yeah, so if I can find another one of these, this one or the pink one, I will pick it up. But for now, I do have two of those red ones. So that is it for the pillows. So that's it, you guys, for my gingerbread haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I need to now put all of this stuff away. Um, until it's time to pull it back out in what, maybe like two more weeks. <laughs> Cause I said I was going to start, um, pulling my decor out on November 1st so that I can enjoy it from through all of November, through all of December. Cause you know, all the work that goes into it. So that is what I'm getting ready to do. It was just a quick little tour of some of the things that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching you guys. And I'll talk to you real soon in my next video. Bye.